Hey guys, it's the Gaming Chief here back with another video and welcome to Planet Zoo Episode 1. We are going to be doing Franchise Mode, which is very exciting because I haven't done it yet. Um, as you can see, it says Resume. I've been doing a little bit of testing and sandbox here and there, just you know, trying to figure the game out for myself. I did a bit of Career Mode, um, the tutorial. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty familiar with the game. Yeah, sorry I'm not basing my zoo or designing it off of Africa with African animals. I know that's what you guys voted most on, but I realized there's 41 different species, and I don't think I'm ready for a zoo that big yet. So for right now, I'm doing an Australian zoo with 10 species and 5 mini zoo species. So I think that's a whole lot more manageable. They're pretty big animals though, but you know, still manageable and I think I have an idea for what I want to do first for franchise mode so enough talking let's just get right into it so franchise mode yeah. welcome to your franchise what would you like to call it don't worry if you don't like it you'll be able to change it later that's good we'll just call it the cheetah franchise for now oh the, the cheetah franchise is too long what if I just go in and And that looks fine. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, we earned a hundred credits. Claim. We have three hundred credits. Um, I guess. Let's make it in tropical Africa. Well, wait, 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 wait. No, we're doing Australia. I forgot. Um, where's Australia? There it is. Desert, grassland. I, I think we'll do grassland. Yeah. That's fine. Difficulty, easy. I'm new to this game. Terrain will be flat. Z will be called... Uh, I, I'm not sure. Australia. Spelled it wrong. Australia. Zoo for now, I guess. I hope I can change that later. I'm not totally sure. Create. Here we are. Grasslands of Australia. Wow, the graphics are so good. How far in can we zoom? Oh, this is some dense grass. Oh no, we already have notifications. We have $40,000, 200 credits. Nice, nice. What are all of our notifications? Workshop, vet surgery, trade center, staff room, research center, quarantine, and keeper hut. Okay. Yep. We will get to that. Now, guys, I have an idea for the zoo. So, for starters, I'm going to make a path. And obviously, try to match this length. Actually, I think it's already doing that for... Nope. So, that's four meters. Do we, is eight good? Or is 8 too much? I can't tell. 8 is too much. 7? Seven. 7 looks right, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we'll use this for now. Obviously changeable. Oh my, this is long. Is that how long we want it? I th mm, let's go 4. 4. Yeah, we'll have that. So that that's straight. And then what I kind of want is... How is this going to work? I'm trying to think. Hold on. Um... Hmm. I suppose... Okay, hold on while I figure this out, guys. Okay, guys. I got my basic shape here. Okay, so basically, here's what I'm thinking. 
we will have, and this will be like our centerpiece almost. There's not going to be an animal in here. In Okay, let me rephrase that. There's going to be an animal in here this episode, but that will change. Eventually, this whole thing will be like the entrance, like a sign saying, Hello guys, welcome to the Australian Zoo, or whatever we name it in the future. So, yeah, this took me a long time to get right. Actually, let me go ahead and go into first person mode, see how that looks. And also, I'm going to pause the game, just because, why not? Let's go and load in right here. Seems to be plenty of space for the guests to walk. And yeah, this will be a nice, you know, centerpiece for them to look at. And I'm assuming I'll probably make it where they can go forward here. Or, if they really want to, the ladder options. Which are, obviously, there and there. Now, they can also... What's gonna come after, which will probably not happen now, because... Let me see where our starting electricity yes okay so our starting power reaches only to about half of this and i'm planning to have a plaza like right here we're gonna have to wait for that for when we get extra power because it, it takes a lot for a generator so for now i think we're just gonna get some shops going over here over here all of this is temporary remember that guys temporary besides this path this path, what am I saying? This path will most likely stay the same. Besides this little bit, I don't know what that's doing here. Let me, let me see if I can delete this really quick. Let's delete. No. Oh, yeah. Okay, that looks a lot better. Besides the grass. Okay guys, so since you guys picked Australia, let me go and show you guys what animals we can actually get from here. So, Oceana. Habitat. We can get the common wombat, which I think is going to be our first choice. The dingo. The emu. The king penguin. Koala. Platypus. Red kangaroo, redneck wallaby, saltwater crocodile, and the southern cassowary, as well as the exhibit animals common death adder, eastern blue tongued lizard, eastern brown snake, giant burrowing cockroach, and monarch butterfly. But right now, what we're looking at is habitat animals, specifically the common wombat. Why this guy, you may be asking. Well, he only needs 225 meters squared in land. As it says in a species data, they have one to two in their enclosure. So one male and one female. Which means if we add it to two adults. Does juveniles really matter? Okay, I guess it does. But two adults, they only need 270. Which is what they like. No climbing, no water, no deep water. Makes it relatively easy. So... Since we're temporarily going to have their enclosure in the middle here until we can afford to have their centerpiece here. Because as you can see, we are very low on money, which makes sense. What we're going to do is we are going to go ahead, make temporary staff path just going off over here. And then on this staff path, what? I'm, I'm sorry guys, I'm stuttering a lot. I don't know. Anyways... We will have everything it tells us we need. So, workshop. Where's the workshop? Workshop, right here. Okay. Workshop acquired. Next, we need... Uh, I'll just put the keeper out down because I know we need that. Oh, uh, we need the Animal Trade Center. Veterinarian Surgery. I think, right? Yeah. I got the Trade Center. What do you mean? That... Wait a minute. 
Oh, uh, we made two. Well, that sucks. Let me just undo both of those. Animal Trade Center. Quarantine. Or, no, veterinary surgery. This is the quarantine. A research center. And finally, staff room. These are all of our starter ones. Insulated, so not decorated, of course. We can't really afford that right now. So now we are going to go ahead, go ahead, hire some starter staff before we forget. So we're gonna need a caretaker. A caretaker, and then a keeper. A mechanic. I don't think we need security yet. We don't need a vendor yet. We do need a veterinarian though. So these four guys or girls will come down from the sky as soon as we unpause the game, which is now. Alright, have fun guys. We're gonna keep the game paused. Now, remember what I said, this is going to be a temporary enclosure for the common wombat. Actually, before I make it, let me make sure it's available. So, because this is a temporary enclosure, that means it's not going to be the prettiest. Just because we need money. Okay. 5.3, 7.2, which one has better stats. This one in fertility. So we're gonna go ahead and take this guy. He's 1.9k. So good enough. And then we need a good female for it. So preferably this one. That one's not looking good. This one. Yep. So we'll take her. Waiting a trade center. Perfect. They should be in our animal storage. Yes. Okay. They need a grade two fence. Barriers. What do we have? This is grade three. No, nah. Uh, I suppose we'll just we'll do the cheapest here, which that's grade one, so they can break through that. But we could go ahead and do. You know what? We we might as well just do the wood logs. Let's just do the wood logs, guys. I'm pretty sure we just need about half of this. So we're just going to use half of it because, as I said, this is temporary. So we might go ahead and use a lot more for, like, a, another animal for temporary. Of course, I can't stress that enough. This is temporary. But anyways, uh, curve it. Yeah. Curve. Curve. Nice curve. Curve. It's not curving nicely, but that's fine, I suppose. Like I said, this is not the official enclosure. I don't know why I keep telling you guys that. I already told you, but I just want to make sure you know. So we'll probably have the viewing area not there just because crowded area. We'll put it here, make that glass. That will be the only viewing area for now. Before I forget, because I forgot this a lot. We need to go ahead and get... Whoa. Anyways, we need to go ahead and make... Um, hold on. Speakers. Education speaker. So we'll just sit that, like, right there. As well as... One of these. And then we're going to set both of these to common wombat as soon as we get it. Actually, it should already be in here. Also, I think this is the wrong way. I don't know. Wait a minute. Hold on, I'm confused now. Why does it say... Oh. There we go. Alright, now we can take this, and we can't set it yet because we don't have the common wombat, but that's okay. 
facilities. Donation. Why does it not work? Here it is. Okay, so we're going to get a donation bin. We'll get two. Why not? That is going to be how we earn most of our money. Our zoo people guess donating to our zoo, to our cause. So now we need to go ahead and get a door. Which, we'll just, yeah, we'll just put it there. The guests don't really care. They're not going to go through there. Um, ooh, one big thing I've been thinking about, guys, is, um, one thing I want to try to do eventually is just have a whole, like, underground work people area where there's, like, tunnels and stuff. Might be kind of cool, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. This video is going on pretty long. We have everything set up. We have everything ready. I think it's time to unpause the game and bring the common wombats over. So, if we go ahead and click play. And then we go ahead. Actually, before we do that. I'm sorry. Before we do that, we are going to go ahead and go to facilities. And get food stalls. X that. We'll get chief beef to start. And I'll, I'll probably put it like, we'll, we'll put it over here. So chief beef, a drink shop, gulpy soda, and finally an information booth or center. We'll get that there. It's night already. So these guys should already come with their own vendors. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't have to hire anybody. It says something about... No, we don't want to do this right now. Alright. I think it's time to get our animals in here. Animal storage. Common wombat. Send to zoo. Send to zoo. Should we go through quarantine first? Probably. Okay, so we're sending them to quarantine to make sure they're not sick or anything. Let's go over here and just get the basic things for them ready that we know they need. For instance, we go to Habitat. They're going to need a shelter. We could make our own shelter for them. However, currently, I think we're just going to go ahead and make a pre-built one. So how's this one? It's not the big oh that's that's not very big either oh my gosh that's way too big uh, yeah yeah I think that's good okay we'll just go ahead and put this like probably right there followed with some bedding and boom done now food and water and we're gonna go ahead and filter this for common wombat. Food trough. That is a lot of money for the food trough. Okay, I think we're just going to go ahead and get the medium food trough. Yeah, probably. We'll put it near the window because I always like watching animals eat. I feel like it would be kind of creepy for the animal personally, but, you know, it, it's a cool experience. Uh, we'll also put the fountain, aka drink, station, whatever you want to call it, over there. And, yeah. Let's go ahead and go to enrichment items. We don't have any enrichment items. I forgot. Okay, what you gotta do when you don't have that, is you gotta go to vet research. And you gotta wait until you actually have the animals which they pass their inspection, quote unquote, I guess. So we can go ahead and take them out. Move into their new habitat. And as soon as they come in, we hurry up and pause the game because we're not totally sure what all they need. So yeah, I suppose we'll, we'll, we'll probably see the vet and the keeper coming soon. 
running with a box. Yep, there's one. Oh, there's the other. I'm sad that this is at night, but yeah. Here they are. We got our wombats. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff happening. Okay. It said an inspector is coming in 12 months. We are not ready for that. How are you guys feeling? Enrichment. Not very good. Makes sense. But I can't do anything for you guys until I actually get that researched. So you're going to have to get onto that. Start researching the combat. The common wombat. Why did I combine that? I said combat. What? Okay, let me just make sure I can't. Yeah. I'm sorry guys, but other than that, what can I do for you? Terrain. You have way too much long grass. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn just basically all of this into the short grass. Cause that's that's pretty much what they want. So terrain. Grass short. Size high. Okay, now they have too much short grass. Perfect. Okay. They good? I suppose we can give them a few plants and stuff. Stud book. Alright, just remember guys. This is not their official enclosure. Can't stress that enough. We're going to have a different enclosure for them somewhere over here. Also, I am curious, how much space is in here? 1,808. Guys, look at that. They needed 270. They have way too much space here. But you know what? That's that's fine, because I'm going to say it again. This isn't their official enclosure. Also, look at our money. That is terrifying. We only have $11,000 left out of 40000 that, oh my, oh my. I guess all we can do now is play. Where did our, wait a minute. Okay, they're both in here. They're both in here, chilling. I think we're closed right now. Nope, we got people coming in. Well, th thank you for being our first guest, guys. Come on. Yeah. We got our first guest, guys. Okay. Alright, well, as long as I see this arrow pointing up and being green for long enough, I think we're going to end the video here. We've done a lot. By a lot, I mean just starting. But, you know, that's fine. The sun's coming up. We can see the wombats better. So, I can go ahead and hurry up and set this before they come. To Wombat. No. Okay. And Wombat. So, now they will start learning about the common Wombats, which are these guys right here. I'm just hoping they start having babies soon. That's what we need. That's what any zoo needs. They just might be a little upset that they don't have any Ooh, inspector coming in 11 months. Yeah, we might just wait for the first inspector inspection. That sounded weird. And then just go from there, I guess. Yeah. I suppose we can add another window right here. Stop it. Window. Glass. Okay. See if we can watch anybody donate, guys. So, like, throw little coins. Please, guys, donations. Donate to these cute wombats. Stop taking pictures. Donate. Come on, guy. You're being so awkward. Just donate, please. What are you guys doing? Donate. Okay, what's your overall welfare? 82. 
So you're in the green, which is good. But also not good. Also, we've been in the green for a while now. We're about to hit 12,000, but we're going to change that soon because we are going to go to filter. Inspector arriving in 10 months. No, we're going to go ahead and do... You know what? Fine. Oceana. Because that's where we are. Oceana. Okay, all of these, these guys should like. That is massive. Oh my, what, what is that tree? That, that's such a weird tree. What are these rocks? Interesting. I guess we can just go ahead and scatter a couple of these around. You guys like that? You like it? Uh, I, well, they, I, I don't know, it doesn't say they like it, and it doesn't say they don't like it, so I'm just gonna leave them. Okay, I wanna see what the guests see. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the first person. Okay, guys, this is what the guest sees. So, they walk, they come up here, they read the board, and then they see the common wombat. We, however, can go through the glass and get a much more clear look. High amounts of litter. Oh, that's right. We do gotta get trash cans. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, guys. We need to get some trash cans. Benches. Bins. Yeah, trash cans. There. Oh, also, one thing to mention, guys, is I have every single DLC in this game. So, everything that this game has to offer, I have. So, literally every single game for anything we do in Plain Zoo, I have every, I have every single animal that this game has. So, that's good news, because you know I got cool stuff like these guys. I'm pretty positive these guys are in the Australian pack. If I'm not mistaken. Vet research is complete? Yes. Please, please give me some enrichment. Continue. What did you unlock? What did you learn? Where do I find that? Habitat. Yes! Large barrel feeder. We will go ahead and just plop that in the middle. I'm sure that makes them a whole lot happier, right? Yes, 50% enrichment. Now all I need is special toy enrichment. So apparently that's food enrichment, not toy enrichment. Pretty sure they can use it for both though. High amounts of litter. Well, I just put high amounts of trash cans everywhere. Oh guys, look. Never mind. I was going to say we had 200 um, guests. But we're down to 180. What's in here? Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, okay. So, looks like we got a deer, a gorilla, a giraffe, an elephant, and a lion. And then the same th Well, actually, no. Hippos. Your zoo has no security guards to deal with crime. I guess we need a security guard, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and hire one. Security. Boom. We have security now. How are you guys doing? Everything good? No! Litter! I can't clean it up. Oh, we have a visitor. Hello. Say hello. Ooh, 20 credits. Nice. Okay. What is this notification? High amounts of litter. Okay, the good news is that these don't have negative impacts. Bad news is there's a bunch of litter here that does. So, what we gotta do is we just gotta fix a bunch of that. I don't... How do I fix it? Is there like a person who goes by and 
and cleans, maybe? Let me check that, actually. Do you clean? Yeah, he does. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. After the inspector arrives and we get the report, that's when we will end this video. Anyways, five more months, buddy. Yes! 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 Did you do it? Did, did you do it? Wait. It happened. But like... Did, did it do good? Okay, research complete. What did we unlock? Did we unlock any food enrichment? Okay, when they mate, guys, that means that they are very happy. And that is very good for us. Habitat. Oh, wow, we unlocked a lot more. So, we got a small ball for the regular enrichment. And that should be good for them, right? You guys happy now? 43. Okay, I can add more. I can add more. We got more. Uh, how does a rubber duck as well sound? Happy now? Happy. Okay. Well, these guys are happy. Inspector arriving in four months. High amounts of litter that should be being taken care of. Right? Ooh, food. Food for them. I hope you guys really enjoy that food. What's this? I, I really hope that goes away. Like, somebody needs to come down here and clean this. Like my keeper or something. Because the inspector's arriving in three months. We can't be having all this. Education coverage. Okay, their education coverage is pretty good. Uh, ooh, we're up to 14,000, so we're earning money. That's good. Anyways, what else? Guest needs. Okay. Everybody's pretty much green besides this one lady. What is wrong? Thirsty and not educated. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure you're leaving, so... Yeah, you're okay. You need to clean up trash. I need you to just go around to pick up trash. The staff room could look a bit nicer. I'm so happy at work. I get paid what I'm worth. Interesting. How much do you guys get paid? And could I lower that? <laughs> I know that's kind of sad to say after what he just said. But. Can I? Who are you? Um, I don't know if I can or not. I'll just, I, I'll just leave it for now. All right, guys, one month. Here we go. Inspector is arriving. Hopefully not at night, but he might be arriving at night. Vet research is complete. Yes. Yes, vet research. What did we unlock? X, X, click the X, okay, habitat, we unlocked watermelon, rubbing pad bark, and a regular rubbing pad, interesting, inspector has arrived, where is he, where, I want to say hi, En <gasps> route to Habitat 1. Okay. Let's see what you think. What? Oh, oh, yeah? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're inside of somebody. Yeah. There's, you're surrounded right now. Yeah. I, I know, right? Yeah! 
Isn't this place great? You're done? You didn't even look at them. Okay. As soon as you leave, I'm assuming you give the report. Am I right? Yeah? Here we go. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> okay. Bye. Report ready for review. Here we go. Inspection report. Cleanliness, five stars. Habitat one, five stars. Education, one star. I, I suppose that's fair enough. I mean... Oh! Oh! One of them are, are expecting offspring. Which one? Your, that's the male. Offspring due a April year three. Okay. Pause. 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 Yeah. Pause. All right, guys. Next episode, we are gonna get some common wombat babies. Let's go ahead and check in the zoopedia really quick at the common wombat and see how much they usually have. So, if we go ahead and go species data. Uh. Hmm. Where is it? What? Due to death. No, number of offspring per mating event. One. So we're going to get one baby next episode. Who's excited? I know I'm excited. But yeah, guys. So. Yeah. Um. Oh. It, what, what's that? I, I won't question it. But yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Planet Zoo. Um, I'm not sure how long it was. It's about 52 minutes in recording right now. It's going to be a lot of editing on my part. Hoping this, you know, me, my voice coming out okay. Because I'm not doing the voiceover thing right now. I'm actually doing my regular voice through the microphone. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember, this isn't the official enclosure for the wombat, but it is the official enclosure of our first offspring of the zoo. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.